it's only pre-season still, of course, second game in. But is it fair to say that was a game of two halves? <laughs> it's always a game of two halves, mate. Um, I, was, I mean, it was a, a great game for us. And I'm coming away really happy because the first half team, which is at this moment in time our strongest team, um, won that first half. You had to see the goal on the, the equaliser just before half time, which was obviously a foul. But anyway, um, and, and that first half team were fantastic, you know, in, fit, in their fitness and their sharpness and our play. Um, and I think they would have been probably shocked by the by the standard of that of that group. Uh, I'm really pleased because that will give them the confidence to play at any level, let alone championship level. Uh, they then had the second half, of course, because um, they've got two two first teams really. Uh, Nigel hasn't picked his first team yet, so he's given them all a, a, a game. But they're all top professionals and are all part of his strong championship squad so and to be fair we only we had three or four that had only just turned up you know, and come in on the day because we have to bring people in because with our injuries with a couple of players that are still waiting to come back in um, you have to play trialists that haven't seen people you have to play people that are, I was pleased with Dan you know just coming back from quite a long long injuries um, and then our lads start getting tired, um, you know, some of them played 70, 70 minutes, uh, but we have to, we was more of a mishmash in the, in the second half. So we can take great heart from the first half, that's for sure. Um, and we'll, we'll go on happy that uh, we've seen our team perform against uh, uh, a championship team. The primary aim, obviously, in games like this is obviously minutes in the tank. But you must be also happy to see how well your new strike force this season is, is looking already. Yeah, uh, I mean they they both run all day. They, they you know they've got a good understanding straight away. They work hard for each other. Um, they, they both got a goal each, which was nice. You know, I think they did. Charles got a second one. Um, so yeah, I mean uh, it's that side of it is looking good. We've just got to. You know, get them to the point, and it's still early, where they can play that game for 90 minutes. Um, I haven't given them that opportunity yet, um, because, as I say, I, we, don't want it, we don't want people pulling the hamstrings or the calf muscle or something because we're trying to keep them out there for too long. I'd love to have done it, but um, because of the strength of Bristol City today in, in both halves, so I still always get a little bit disappointed when we, whoever's out there, um, but I'm, I'm going to take away the main thing, which was uh, our first team played very, very well. Arguably now pre-season goes up another gear because you've got three games at Playmore with fans that are able to see the uh, yeah. this new look talking side for the first time. I'm saying new look, obviously there's a lot of favourites from last yeah, sure, season. Sure. Uh, but that'll be nice for the fans to see how things are progressing as well. Uh, yeah, it will. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll be able to show them because Bristol City wanted to show the uh, highlights on their website. So I'm sure we'll be able to show the highlights on ours. And... Uh, I think they'll see, you, you will see even in the highlights, there was some really, really good play by our, from our boys. And uh, they've all done enough in minutes wise today, and no injuries, nobody's pulled anything. So it's always good to come away from a game with your, with your main boys fit still. And then going into the Plymouth game, it's another championship team. That was why when Bristol City said, <laughs> They were playing their championship team and we knew we had another championship team on the Tuesday and then another uh, first division team on, on the Saturday, which is tough at this stage of the season. But uh, some of the boys show, are showing that they, they can keep compete with those teams. So we need to do the same against Plymouth in front of our fans. But uh, you know, still, we'll have to probably the last 20 minutes change the team a little bit. Um, we're trying to get in as many as we can. Uh, as early as we can so that we have a strong squad um, and we're just waiting for a few lads to get back fit. Brilliant. Thank you, John right. Scaffer. Much appreciate it. Thank you very much.